what a delivery that is a peach that's up in the air he hasn't judged it well enough expected it to be coming harder than that Mohamed Ashrafal started to go in and thought maybe he might time to react that's a nice shot that's what he was trying to do the ball a couple of balls ago didn't quite manage it this time around straight back over the bowler and safely enough uh, right behind the keeper to Thomas Adoyo he's gone over the top not really timing it that well but still it had enough power to take it almost to the boundary good work collected by Mohammed Rafiq again like the game yesterday doing a lot of hard work this experienced veteran of the Bangladeshi team puts a foot down at the last moment and makes sure that the ball doesn't go over the ropes Ah, there again appeal and he's gone this time a straightforward decision for umpire Hari Haran from India the ball going straight to a quicker delivery from in front the only thing I thought there may be was a slightly forward he was stretching forward but uh, and Mishra taking a chance really a poor execution there and totally across the line and a very good decision by umpire and Tanmin Mishra, 17, LBW baller Razak, Kenya in big trouble, 71 for 7. Slap that away, that's going to go wide of the third man region to the boundary. Very, very welcome one for the Kenyans. Haven't seen a boundary for quite some time. Odoyo has got and four runs very much required that's gone up in there Khaled Masood is going after it is not going to make it just falling short of him very very and uh, this young man is finding it very difficult to negotiate him that has got the middle of the bat there well played chase on here two fielders just going to Bring it in before the ball reaches the ropes. Good running between the wickets. Good understanding between the two. It's one of those things. Quick run taken, direct throw, but this one doesn't yield any wickets because so he seems all right and the green light should come on soon. There it is. He's gone for the big one. There's nobody out there because they haven't needed people out on the boundary, Bangladesh. And I tell you what, they'll be happy they didn't have anyone out there because it still hasn't gone for four. Just big shot. Nicely done. May well have cleared the boundary as well. Umpire Modi is going to find out. He's got again this time. No arguments about that. Six runs. Let's take a look at that shot. It's quite close for him, so he was not afraid to play against the spin and put a lot of bat behind that. Ah! Big shot. The finger's gone up. He's gone too far across to play that. And... Oriambo, after entertaining in the last over, has been bogged down and finally... Kept uh, coming in, uh, missed a few deliveries outside the off -time. and look at this one, pitched up, online, oh, tight call, but uh, would have gone on to hit the stumps, playing across the line, you need to play straighter, paid the price, was there for a short while and looked good, goes back to the pavilion uh, for 18. Well, forget about that question. Have a look at this. A huge hit. Thomas Odoyo down the wicket. And he smashes that over mid-wicket. A fantastic three. Goes down the track and uh, hits it beautifully. 
no problem whatsoever. What a massive six. The second one uh, from uh, Thomas Odoyo. Right out of the ground. Oh, fantastically executed shot. Doesn't look to smash it. He's a strong lad. He gets it in the middle of the bat too. They've taken a liking to Mohamed Rafiq. Wow. What a hit. Kenya need this. Over by Abdul Razak, and that's lofted way high in there. There's going to fall between two fielders, it's going to be stopped right on the edge. Now, that is going to be interesting. It's picked up and thrown in, but I'm sure that uh, the umpire is going to refer that to the third umpire exactly what he's doing now by Hari Harin. The ball was hit away towards the mid wicket Bangladesh fielder initially, but the ball rolls in onto the boundary, and I think he's touched the rope. Ball slipping through his fingers. It didn't take long for the third umpire to make up his mind. There you see what I mean. He did manage to get bat onto that. There were no slips. So I suppose a safe shot to play in the end. There's a lot of power behind it. He's been trying to do that. He'll try and play through the next nine overs. But well, now the cheers go up. Uh, for Thomas Odo is coming back for the second run. According to our scores, he's already reached the 50, but the main scoreboard has just... That's also pretty wide. He had to reach for that Thomas Odoyo. And what a way he got that. Initially, I thought the fielder was going to get to it, but he timed it so well that it... <laughs> and he's going to be facing some... Stern examination from Thomas Odoya. They've stolen a single. More importantly, it meant that Odoya was on strike and he can strike it. I tell you, what a shot. And take a look at that shot. What a shot. Just moved away, making himself a little bit room and maximum. And again, he's going for it now. He's gone again, my goodness. This is fantastic stuff. Thomas Odoyo. Wouldn't have been on strike now. Oh my word, that is a huge hit. It's gone right over us here in the commentary box. And he's hit it with such ease. Got him! He's gone! He came down the wicket again, but Sakibul Hassan up to the task, and he knew the man was quite magnificent, 84. So Kenya, 184. A long way better to what they've done in their innings. Region. Left-handers tend to do that. Well, there you go. There you go. Commentator's curse. I've just spoken about how well his feet have been moving. He moved them well then, but that ball this evening. Up there, just poking at that one, not really taking his fifth foot to the pitch of the ball, and a brilliant diving catch by the wicketkeeper. End of another wicket. Bangladesh have gone on to 56 for three. He's 75 matches in the back for him. Gone. It is. What a wicket. A wild shot from the bat of Mohammad Ashrabul and what a spectacular catch once again from the keeper. More like a goalkeeper there. And a wonderful catch by the wicket keeper. And yes, and that's what Thomas Adoya says. An important wicket. Mohammad Ashrabul, six. Bangladesh, 65 for four. Sort of a nice there, brilliant take. What a fantastic catch! Goodness gracious me, that was struck. Absolutely fantastic. Just have a look at this. It deserves more than one look, I can tell you that. He knows he's done well. He's running away from them. Everybody wants to celebrate with him. 
because he's gotten rid of that man, Farad Reza. One too many shots, gone for 15. Bangladesh 85 for five. Very well hit. Gentle, that's a good shot and gone. Well, you will just have to wait and see whether that pitched on line and would have gone on to hit the stump. That's uh, missing the off stump for sure. He's uh, played it from the back of the crease, but you've got to make sure that the ball would have gone on to hit the stump. In my opinion, 